Well, well good, good morning, morning and welcome everyone to the uh, gathering, your 2021 upgrade for Tomahawk and Motor League. We're extremely excited as ever to be back here and to have this event to share all of you, the passion for cars, and a wonderful addition to the Audrain Collections, which we're going to show you today, and also the announcement sort of of the great partnership that we have with McLaren Racing, and represented here by CEO Zach Brown. Hello, I'll oh, hold your applause. <laughs> uh, it's hard doing stand up next to Jay. Um, first of all, thank you for having us. Great to be here with, uh, with you, Donald, and of course have uh, one of our legends out, Mika, and uh, a Jay, a long-term car guy. Long-term car guy. Yeah, which is great, which I think most of us are here. Uh, Nick, thank you for uh, having us out here. We came to uh, year one of the event and uh, very happy uh, to see a, a nice crowd building and to be able to uh, show you this unbelievable, uh, most successful race car of, of all time. So, uh, Donald, you just tell me when. Absolutely. Absolutely. We can have our volunteers. So let me tell you about this race car, because this is the race car that got uh, me personally into uh, a Formula One, and I think many people uh, around the world. This uh, MP44 chassis, uh, 1988, was the first year of uh, Ayrton Senna's World Championship and was the start of an epic battle and not great relationship between uh, Alain Prost and, and Ayrton Senna. Uh, Alain, of course, coming in already having won uh, a couple World Championships. Senna was the, uh, the young buck that was gonna come try and knock uh, Alain Prost uh, off his mantle, which he did this year. Uh, as Donald said, this car won uh, three races. Probably the most famous one was Monaco when he was um, catching Senna. Senna found out he was getting caught and then uh, stuck it in the barrier and Alain went to go win the race. Alain then uh, put the car on pole in France, being a Frenchman, I think that's what you're supposed to do, and uh, went on to, to dominate that race and then uh, also won Mexico. That year, we won 15 of 16 races. We would have won the 16th race, but Senna tangled in Italy with the Williams while lapping uh, the race car. So this is uh, statistically uh, the most successful uh, racing uh, Formula One car in the world. And this was Alon's uh, main car uh, during that year, uh, having won, uh, three other podiums when Senna had won, uh, when they'd had many uh, one-twos. So quite a uh, spectacular uh, chassis, one not that would fit me anytime soon. Um, and Senna, speaking of legends, so Prost finished second to Senna, but then you outqualified Senna in your first race, which kind of irritated me at the time because I was such a Senna guy. But um, what do you remember of this car and racing Ariton and then uh, of course even racing alone? Exactly. Thank, Thank you. you. It's great, great to be here. here. It's great, great to see a lot of, lot of uh, uh, racing and car fans, fans and, and, and the beautiful, beautiful how you guys have organized all this. It's just, just a mega. mega. Uh, but I do see this car. I want to ask very close race track. track. I want to drive it. It's absolutely uh, amazing, amazing, amazing car. Uh, the, the design, design what they did at the time, time of this car was very unique. Very, very great, great design, design indeed, and, and, and uh, but, but, but what, what they did, they, they, they were able, able to create a car with definite parts out there. there. They, they were, were able, able to build the center crop very, very low, low. with many drivers, which is very difficult, uh, but, but beautiful car. car. And, and experience is not the center, center, yes. I had a chance to be his teammate for three crop races in year 93, and he has some interesting Situation. Situation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I did manage to beat him uh, in the qualification, qualification very first time when I was 